Um, so you have to pull this down. Then you can unscrew the shift knob. Put this somewhere, it doesn't really matter. Then you can just snap this plastic piece off using your nail over, over here. Put this somewhere. Right there. Then you, this plastic piece is one big piece. You can pry it off. You, uh, there's screwdriver marks here. I think someone else pried this off here, but it's actually easier if you just reach in here and do it. Start from this corner. Gently pop it out so you don't break the tabs. And then work your way over here. And you can just pull this right out. So this wire right here was disconnected. So you need to make sure that you plug it into the connector right here. You might need to fish around for it, so you might want some pliers or even a paint can opener. Plug that in. Um, then you can close it back up just doing what I did before. So I'll start from the back. That's in and snap it here. Here, maybe two or three snaps. Oops. <laughs> oh, this is just this little piece right here that popped off. Don't know what that's for. And then put this back on. And now you should have power. And then another thing you can check is the fuses under here, or under the driver's side of the dashboard, that is, next to where the driver door jam is. If your radio is also not working. It's probably fuse number 35. It's a common fuse for the radio and the two accessory outlets. And then 28 and 29 are the fuses for your center accessory outlets. Uh, so if you're having an issue with one of the outlets, try switching the two fuses, 28 and 29, and see if that fixes the issue. If it does, it means you need a new fuse. If it doesn't, check the connection for the cable uh, outlined in this video. Um, I got this from JustAnswer.com, and this is the expert who answered. Um, so this is not my drawing, but this is the correct information for the 8th generation Honda Civic.